uh, as a judge, when you're sitting on the stand as a judge and uh, and uh, the evidence is presented before you, which of course the jury has to decide on the, the, the guilt or innocence verdict, have, uh, yeah. let's go with the innocence part first. Have you ever been sentenced, sentence, I mean, been there and the, process, the evidence has been presented and you saying to yourself, even though you can't say it out loud, you're saying to yourself, I, I don't think this guy, this, this, this woman did this. I mean, the prosecutor is presenting a good case. This evidence doesn't add up to me. And they get well, guilty and you still have to sentence them. Well, I won't say I can remember one where I thought somebody, I was trying a jury trial and I thought the person was completely innocent. But there have been times where I thought the person might have been overcharged. In okay. other words, say it was a homicide case, but it was probably more likely a second degree, you know, it was charged with a first degree murder maybe. And it's, to me, it seemed like the evidence was there for a second degree or voluntary manslaughter. And I've actually reduced, sometimes re, not very often because it, the facts are for a jury to decide. But I, if I found the facts didn't add up to support a conviction, if the jury convicted them, uh, I had have been known to either a, declare a judgment of you know acquittal, or more likely reduce it down to a lower level for the, it before I presented it to the jury to decide. Okay. 